In the Email Options tab, you'll find the file format. By default, what's set is PDF, multi-page, image only. You've got options. You can switch it from multi-page to one file per page. I'll give you an example. For example, you've got four one-page uh, uh, invoices or anyway, one-page documents, and you'd like to receive one email, but you'd like each page to be its own individual PDF. This is when you switch it there. Um, otherwise, you'd receive one PDF of four pages. That's how it's set by default. Right under here, by default, you're getting an, email, an image only. You can switch it from an image only to a searchable. This will enable you to do keyword searches in your PDF. It will also enable you to do um, text selections, and you can, which you can then copy by doing a right click with your mouse. And you could open up Word, for example, and paste it into Word. That way, it becomes a real Word document that you can make modifications to, so on and so forth. Over on the left-hand side of your screen, you'll see that you can change the, the file format from a PDF to a PDF-A. This is when you want to archive. Um, what, what it will actually do is reduce the size of your file, but it will also enable you to do keyword searches in that PDF. Right underneath, you'll see that you can switch your file format to a TIFF or a JPEG, which is the photo format.